Aisha radiallahu anha asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Oh, Messenger of Allah, is there any time where a person will give no concern about anybody else? They will be so preoccupied with themselves. The Messenger of Allah said, yeah, three places. The Mizan, when you are waiting for your actions to be weighed, when you are waiting for your book, and when you are at the bridge, the Sirat, when your actions are weighed, the Prophet وسلم, said that your name will be called in front of every individual. If your scale is heavier, then an announcement will be made that Fla ibn Fla, his scales were heavy and he is going to Jannah. And if your scales are light, then an announcement would be made that Fla ibn Fla, his scales were light, so he's destined to Jahannam. The Salaf would say something really interesting about the scales. They would say, destroyed is that person who allowed his ones to be more heavier than his tens. What they meant by that is when a person does a good action, he gets tenfold for that one good action and possibly many more. When a person does an evil action, only one evil action is written down. Destroyed is he who allowed his ones to be heavier than his tens. That is what the Salaf would say. Umar radiallahu anhu would say, Hasibu anfusakum qabla an tuhasabu. Take account of yourself before account will be taken of you. Wazinu a'malakum qabla an tu'zanu. Weigh your actions. See the ikhlas. See the sincerity. See how close they are bringing you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before they are weighed on the day of judgment. It is better and lighter for you that you take your account today rather than your account is taken tomorrow. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has weighed the actions of individuals, then there will be three individuals. The Prophet وسلم, said, the fire of Jahannam will be lit with these three individuals. One, a scholar. Second, a shaheed. And the third person who spent in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call the scholar and he will say to him, what did you do with the ilm that I gave you? He will say, Allah, I disseminated your knowledge. I taught in other people. I called people towards you. Allah will say, no, you called it. So people would say, what a great scholar. They will praise you. You attained and received what you wanted in the dunya. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell the angels and he will be dragged into the fire of Jahannam. Then a shaheed will be called. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, what did you do with the life I gave you? He'll say, Allah, I gave the ultimate sacrifice. I was bartered. I died for your sake. Allah will say, no, that's not why you've done it. You've done it so people will say, what a brave individual. You got your recognition in the dunya and he will be dragged into the fire of Jahannam. And the third person will be a wealthy individual who built masajid, who gave sadaqah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to him, what did you do with the wealth I gave you? He said, Allah spent it in your path. Allah will say, no, you done it for recognition. So people say, what a generous individual this person was. And you got your recognition in the dunya. And then this person will be dragged into the fire of Jahannam. Imagine this narration. Scholar. What does a scholar speak? A scholar says, Qala Allah wa qala Rasul. He says the most purest things, the words of Allah and the words of Rasul. But if there is not sincerity behind that, then the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he will be dragged into the fire of Jahannam. The Shaheed, the ultimate sacrifice to give your life for Allah's sake. But if there is not ikhlas behind it, if you are not doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that ultimate sacrifice will result in your own destruction. And then the third person, a man who spent in the path of Allah, the vast majority of people who lose their way towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is because of the dunya is because of the attachment to materialistic prosperity and materialistic good. This person gave that, but he gave it 
without ikhlas and this person will be dragged into the fire of Jahannam. The Prophet ﷺ said, the fire of Jahannam will be lit with these three individuals.